That is Welsh and heavenly. Oh, hello there. It's 31 degrees out here. The hottest day of the year so far. Ooh, I need that. How will sweaty Scott cope in heat? Will Ray's temper flare up at all? Isn't John boiling in his whole dressing gown? Who knows? One thing's for sure. But I have Lisa around to rub any suntan lotion in. It's day 53, and this is Big Brother's little brother. Keep those two fingers away from me. Welcome indeed to today's Big Brother's Little Brother. Hope everyone is very well. Very exciting show for you today. Coming up on the show, Sunday Mirror showbiz queen uh, Polly Graham predicts what's in store for the housemates after Big Brother. Uh, Victor Lisa is here to analyse your dreams. So email them right now to bblb at channel4.com, bblb at channel4.com. But we kick off as we always do with Little Brother's Big News. Yes, indeed. Last night at uh, 8.11, Steph cried for full 21 minutes. Why? Let's find out. Stop it. I sat there feeling like, it wouldn't matter if you said anything or not, feeling, a feeling, a feeling like people would always be rushed oh, over me. Well, listen, oh. Alison, I would have picked you today. Yeah. No, no, well, listen, right. no, no. Well, I've even said to Karen just there, I says, if, if Steph thinks that, we're going to put Nush over everything else just because um, people might think that she's more of a laugh. All this kind of stuff. Yeah. That's crap. Well put, Ray. Uh, the tickle and his ticklisms are back. Here he is at 10:49 a.m. today, explaining to Ray why Big Brother is going to be ticking off. So yeah, so there's been a few signings in in the old uh, football. I've just been told off for even mentioning that there was a transfer window. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did you get called in? It's not as if we didn't know anyway. Well, that's what I said. I haven't told you what the transfers were. But for even mentioning that there was a football transfer window, I've had my wrist slapped, so Jeez. I'm not talking about it. We asked uh, Big Brother to uh, maybe come on and explain this to us. They declined the interview, but uh, issued a statement earlier on today, which goes as follows. The uh, football transfer window is irrelevant in this case. John is forbidden from discussing any aspect of the events from the outside world. Big Brother stands by this. In other words, they couldn't be bothered. Came out from there to here to tell me that. Thank you so Thank very you. much. <laughs> hey, loving your work. You almost turned around. It's very scary. And finally, Beard Watch, my friends, <sighs> is over. Yes, indeed. Cameron shaved off his goatee at 9.24 this morning. It took him for 10 minutes to shave it off. Cameron, my friend... Uh, we can take a look at Cameron uh, through the stages of Beard Watch. Just look back, almost just the halcyon days of Cameron. There he is uh, with a goatee there, a little number he created on, uh, I think, believe it, day 50. And finally, here he is now, clean shaven. Obviously, if there's any more progress on the facial hair front, we will indeed let you know. And just to let you know that on tomorrow's show, we'll, of course, let you know who has indeed been nominated. For now, that's Little Brothers Big News. <laughs> So, by the end of the week, we'll know who is in the final four. John will be there, that much we know, of course. Um, for the last week, we know, but he cannot win, as I'm sure you're well aware of. That in mind, today's cool BBLB is quite simply, who do you want in the final four and why? These numbers are cool. Always like this part of uh, Big Brother. The last couple of weeks, 11 days to go until the end of Big Brother. So they were asking what's in store for the remaining, the remaining housemates. Not the remaining housemates, there aren't any in there. The remaining housemates, ones that are out in the big wide world. Will any of them make it to showbiz uh, or will they be back to the paper round and pocket money for a lot of them? Uh, Sunday Mirror showbiz queen Polly Graham is here to give us her verdict. Polly Graham, everyone. Hey. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for coming on. Okay, um, we're just going to go through all of them, yeah? And, and you'll tell us, and then I'll, I'll let you know the rumours. Before we get into predictions, who's been a tabloid favourite so far? Well, Nush. We love Nush at the Sunday Mirror, because, you know, she's gorgeous. And she's got a bit of a past on her, and she's been flirting away for England. So. She's got Spike, haven't she? She she's has. Spiky. She has. Okay, uh, we're going through the remaining housemates in alphabetical order, one by one. Will any of them cut it in the world of showbiz? First up, Cameron. Cameron, I think, next pre presenter of Songs of Praise, don't you? I mean, he's the best thing for the, the church. You can see the old uh, theme tune coming in All the grannies already, love him, I'm And sure. I'm here, in Shetland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to let you know, uh, Cameron uh, was reported last week, well, Heat magazine reported last week, BBC are interested in Cameron as a Songs of Praise presenter. Do you think he could hack it? Do you think, I mean... Oh, yes, yes, definitely. It's not that easy, don't say it like that. 
<laughs> okay, next up. You just up. make it look so easy. Next up, John. What do you think of John? Well, John, I, I reckon, yeah, okay, he'll have some telly slots and stuff like that, but he's going to be an after-dinner speaker, isn't he? He's just a kind of people pe people pay to see, mm -hmm. to sort of go, well, anyway, yeah, and he'll be just, like, really pompous. Maybe Star Trek conventions, Star <laughs> Wars conventions? Of the thing about John is, irrespective of, of what's happened to him in the last couple of weeks and the fact he's gone back in the house, he, he just adamantly um, maintains that he's just going to go back to his old job. Do you think he'll do that as well? Oh, the temptation will be too much for him. When he came on, he was sort of around and about the studio last week, and I said, well, you know, you're going to go back to your old job. And he said, Dermot, I've got uh, £150,000 worth targets to fill next week. Of course I'm going to go back to my old Maybe job. Maybe he can write a book about targets. OK, <laughs> the rumours uh, that have been persisting is him presenting Tickle on TV, obviously on Rise. Uh, everyone's seen that, which uh, has led uh, people... A toaster company, for example, uh, has appeared on him with him on Rise, impressed by his idea. The patent office offered it uh, to show John how to paint his idea. But he says he wants to go back to his old job. All right, next up, Nush. Nush, right, OK. Well, she's your favourite. She talk of yoga videos, but I just think she's a bit flaky and probably won't really do anything. Really? Yeah. I mean, she's gorgeous, I mean, she'll do photo shoots and stuff like that, but I just, I just think she'll just go back to being what she did the before. The Malvern girl mm. we all know and love. OK, Playboy TV, rumours-wise. This, yeah, I no, don't this will think make she'll you go for that. I don't think she'll go for it no. at all. She's expressed an interest in Nush's presenting a yoga slot. But I don't know if that... Does that mean... Clothes or no, I think without she'd clothes? Want to wear There's a her picture clothes. of her doing yoga now. What do you reckon? Well, I think she'd want to wear those clothes. Yeah, exactly. I can't see naked yoga taking off. She's quite a serious off. girl, really. Ray, next. Okay, what, what do you reckon about Ray? Ray. Now I can see him like presenting some kind of Ibiza show or something like that, so he can continue like drinking and just partying, which is what he seems to like doing, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. So any singing careers? Because at the moment they're, they're, you know, they're cornering the, the market. Sung yet? I, don't, I haven't heard any of them. Not really. I don't want to quite encourage quite more bands from reality. I don't want to encourage more presenters. <laughs> it's a niche market. Okay, the rumours about Ray. Absolutely none, apparently. And uh, Scott, what do you think about Scott? Now Scott, everyone's saying Scott's going to win, so. Well, Scott, yeah, I mean, the thing is, he hasn't really shown much of personality in, in the, the house, but, I mean, he wrote um, a, a play for Radio 4, so maybe he'll, you know, have something on at the Royal Court or... He's a dark horse, though, because he hasn't properly talked about that. No, I know, it's if really I'd weird. If I'd written a play for Radio 4, but would be milking I'm every last inch I'm convinced he's got hidden depths, yeah. but he's yet to show them. OK, uh, Scott, well, like you said, is, um, he's uh, written a play for Radio 4, um, but the rumours, absolutely none. And lastly, Steph. Steph, mm, I don't know... Uh, parting bad girls, you know, prison officer or something, I don't know. Parting oh, <laughs> bad girls, <laughs> wonderful. OK, lastly, who do you think we'll be still be talking about in a year's time? I reckon John, probably Cameron, maybe Nush. OK. Polly, thank you very much. More from you later on. But right now, we we'll have to wait and see what's in store for Evicti Lisa after a Big Brother experience, but she could perhaps get herself a gig analysing dreams. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> At one point every day when we're not too busy doing anything else is we're all sort of taking turns. If you've had something, some weird yeah. dream or whatever, oh, you know, we'll, we'll look it up and look at that. When looking up a dream, when you have that dream, and maybe the main part in it, say, was a car or a murder took place yeah. or whatever, but sometimes it's the other small thing that was in that dream, something over there that, the, that doesn't have great, any great mm. relevance, is the one that is the relevance of the dream. In this dream, this hat shirt and anger went, was going... Around me at the top, right? And I woke up in there. Do you know what like all this? of that is, though? It's so basic because this dream of yours probably felt like it went on all night. <gasps> a dream Horrible. actually lasts a split second. Oh, it's all a dream. <laughs> it was all a dream. It was all a dream. So, um, what's the secret to analysing dreams? Um, Sorry, we're joined by Lisa, everybody. Thank you, Father. I don't believe I didn't even intro you. Sorry, what's the Thank secret you. of analysing dreams? Ah, secret of analysing dreams is being perceptive, um, looking deep into somebody's um, mind and keeping your mind open like a child and spoilt. Sure. OK, our viewers have been emailing in, in their, with their dreams in droves, I have to say. So here goes, you're going to analyse some for us. Um, Hello, this is a bit of a weird dream for you. I have reoccurring dreams about large teeth growing all over my body. Uh, they're not painful, but they're really hard to pull out, which means um, it's all I seem to do in, in each dream. I hope you can solve this one from Duke in Manchester. Right, well, that's quite a common one. Generally, teeth mean something's eaten away at you, so there may be something that happened a long time ago which he's subconsciously thinking about, but it's actually disappeared. And, or maybe a decision he's trying to make. Do you need therapy for that? Not really. Okay, good. Well, I don't want to, you know... 
the diagnosis coming into it. Because um, I have that one, I, I want a roller coaster and my teeth keep falling out mm. trying to put them back in. It can sometimes be with a roller coaster involved that you're not. Yeah, I know that. I can relate to that. Okay, next up. Um, hi, Dem, at least I, I once had a dream about. Uh, Nothing in particular to do with Big Brother, but still, it, it's tormented me for years. I was running around the car park under a shopping centre, and suddenly a wolf, just as a man, uh, he was wearing, may I say, a pair of dashing jeans, started chasing at me in the lift. Any ideas? And who's that from? That's from, sorry, it's from Zach in Ireland. It could be that he's avoiding something, and he's not quite sure what decision to make because of the change of the outfit. The wolf is, some, is represented as a bad thing, but mm -hmm. the fact it's wearing dashing jeans, it could be another person, it could okay. be anything... Okay, lovely. Anyway, Louise yeah. from Dublin. Um, I keep dreaming I'm on Big Brother. Does that mean I'll get in there one day? Hang on to your dreams, sweetheart. It could happen. Okay, and my name is Ian. I'm 40. I'm a uh, nurse working in the hospital in Nottingham. I'm married with three kids. God, I hope you're going to get onto the dream, buddy. Uh, a couple of months ago, I dreamt that I was pregnant. And then uh, when I got to hospital, uh, I had a delivery by caesarean, of course. My birthing partner and another nurse in one of the surgical wards and the Baron Knights were playing um, Oompa Loompa. Oompa um, Loompa Bianca. What is that? Uh, I never did get birth and I woke up before they could finish the song. I absolutely have no idea. I've never heard anything like it in my <laughs> life. Sorry. Racking. You should go and see someone, OK? Thank you very much, Ian. Thank you very much, Lisa. And talking of dreams, we still know you didn't fulfil your Big Brother dream to nominate and do a task. Now, yesterday, we let you nominate, which I know you very much enjoyed. You nominated Steph and Ray. Today, we're giving you a chance to do a task. Right. Interested? Absolutely. Excellent. It's, of course, the Jim Carner. You up for it? Yes, I'm up for it. Wonderful. OK. We'll see that in a little bit later on. But first, the reward room has been a hive of activity for the last couple of nights. On Saturday night, Ray and Cameron enjoyed a girly theme night in there, which was classic, after Ray won the bingo challenge, which is be Morecambe and Wise. Uh, last night, Scott chose to take Nush in there for a lads evening, and there was, of course, no nookie. Today, we're giving you a chance to decide which reward room highlights you'd like to see after the right Cameron and Ray's... They put makeup on. Or Scott and Mrs. They watch videos. The choice is yours. So, for Cameron and Ray's reward room highlights, uh, text poll A to 85444. And for Nush and Scott's reward room highlights, text poll B to 85444. Text cost 25 piece, plus your local methane rate. Right. Uh, the winning highlights right coming up after the break. Also, after the break, catch Lisa doing the one and only Big Brother task, or hers at least. Plus, we're talking betting with a betting expert about uh, who's Bookie's favourites to win. We'll see you in three. Cracking day, there it is. Welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brother. Hope you're very well. Before the break, we asked you which reward room highlight you'd like to see. Cameron and Ray's, Ornish and Scott, they didn't do anything. You have to understand me here. But 62% of you decided that, yes, you would like to see Nush and Scott's. Be prepared to be very bored. Here it is. <laughs> well, here we are. No, I'm, I'm totally relaxed with the situation right now. Pump for me. Just a <laughs> Is that cool? We can it Strangely girly feet. Oh, you. <laughs> we love curls. Just the two of us. <laughs> so you're in the sky. Just the two of us. You and I. Oh, you're all sloppy lovebirds out there, aren't you? <laughs> OK, now, Vicky Lisa never got to do a task while she was in the house. You may remember she had to pull out the Gymkhana task on the old <gasps> medical advice because of uh, the older uh, breathlessness. Now, the housemates passed the task, completing the course in 5 minutes 35 seconds. Big Brother giving them 6 minutes 45 seconds to do it. So, if Lisa had taken part, she'd have had to do the course in 50 seconds for the housemates still to pass the task. With me so far, can she do it today? Can you do it today? I'll do my best. That's not good enough, I'll Lisa. I'll do it. I'll do it. Nice. Sorry. You've, you've got Shadow with you, I believe. Yes, Shadow. Lovely. How's Shadow doing? All right. I'm fine, fine. <laughs> Good. OK. <laughs> We've set up the original course for you, which we can, we can take a look at now. Isn't it beautiful there? The old uh, tower bridge uh, up there. and There's a bit of a chicane up there. Very interesting. <laughs> we'll be looking at that later on. Uh, we've even got a nurse. We've got two nurses, uh, Hamed and Dean, here with some oxygen, just in case. You right, lads? Yeah. Good lad, brilliant. OK. Now then, you've got 50 seconds to do this, yeah? Yeah. The red arrows are doing flybys for you and everything, all right? You know the course? Four-second penalty if you clip anything. Your time starts now. OK, there. Negotiating the first very, very plainly. Oh, not a problem there. She's round there like a good one. Here we go. So far, over the second, on 11 seconds. Come on there, Lisa, step it up. 
There we go, not a problem at all. One of Shadow's eyes has fallen off. I don't know if that will affect it at all. I don't know if we can get a shot of that. One of Shadow's eyes there, fallen off. Uh, I don't know if he's veering around to the left ever so slowly. Come on, Shadow. So far, 26 seconds, not a problem over the tower bridge there. Coming up to the chair, only with one eye on uh, Shadow there. Not a problem over the last, over the last. Oh, she should walk it. She really should. And she does in 42 seconds. Yay! Oh, poor Shadow. Let's have a look at Shadow. He lost his eye. I know, he lost his eye. Bless him. Just give him a... Mm, there we go. Kiss it better. There you go. Proud of yourself. Congratulations. Very, thank you. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much. Can you hold that for Lovely. me? Wonderful. OK, it's nomination today. Today we reveal exclusively who's up for eviction uh, tomorrow. Don't forget, whoever stays this Friday will be in the final four. With that in mind, today's cool BBLB is who do you want to see in the final four and why. Here's how to get in touch. OK, just give you a couple of emails on the old cool BBLB today. I'll be speaking to a few of you later on. Uh, Rachel from Rugby. Steph should make it through to the final week. As should Ray Scott and Nush Cameron should stop following Steph around like a lost puppy. Wow, that's harsh. And except the fact there's nothing left for him in the Big Brother house. Uh, Peter G, sorry, that was a Rachel from Rugby. Peter G from Basingstoke said, I think a race should be voted out because how poorly he handles leadership role. How on earth are six people supposed to live on two pounds a week? Oh, cold hard economics there. And uh, Freddie from Slough, I agree with John. Cam's definitely playing a game uh, and does not deserve to stay in. And the Louise from Teesside, I think Cameron should stay in the house because he's been to South Africa, which is itself a rewarding experience. Quite harsh, I have to say. Keep them coming in. But for now, uh, something from the outside world, which I'm quite excited about. Uh, the bookies predict that betting on Big Brother this year will break all records for a non-sporting event. It will take in about five million like to be uh, bet on the outcome. Betting expert Colin McSorley is here to explain why people like a flutter on Big Brother and talk us through the bookies' favourites. Welcome. Nice to see you. you well. How are you? Very yeah, well. flying, not bad at all. So why is betting on Big Brother so popular? A couple of things. Firstly, it's now its fourth year and momentum has built steadily over the last number of years. To put it in the proper perspective, there's almost as much money bet on Big Brother as there is in the Epsom Derby. But people have realised that for two minutes of, of, of fun betting on the Derby, you can have eight to ten weeks of fun working on, uh, on Big Brother. Yeah. So there's the value. OK. How do the bookies keep up with what's going on? The bookies historically have been caught napping because obviously Big Brother is now 24-7. Mm. Well, they've had to react to that now. And what we've got is got uh, the main, main bookmakers actually having shift work with their odds compilers and traders constantly viewing Big Brother to make sure they're always one step ahead of the viewing public. You don't have live streaming, like on the... On the uh, Not live streaming. That would be amazing, like exactly. you see, you know, the three o'clock from Kempton, and all up there, John's gone in the diary room. That would be fantastic. Exactly. OK, let's start with the current favourite. Let's look through the odds. Uh, Scott, yeah, what are his odds, and, and why, do you think? OK, Scott is now at five to six. OK? If I put simply, that means you've put six pounds on, mm -hmm. you'll get 11 pounds back. Yeah. OK? Now, he's well in, well in favour at nine. The bookies, for the bookies to have a good year, I suppose, he has to win, is that right? His odds have shortened it down now. They're going to get a profit, if, for example, if, if, he were, if he were to succeed. OK. Um, the biggest loser for the, right there, buddy. For, the, for the bookmakers is definitely our friend Cameron. Really? He was the outsider at 33 to 1 <sighs> on easy odds when, when, when the, the books opened. Yeah. He would most definitely be the biggest loser and would make the event an entire losing event for the bookmakers. Yeah, OK. And I think what you were saying to me earlier on was the fact that if the, if the almost like the girl vote splits Ray, if these, three, if these three get through to the final four, the girl vote splits Ray and Scott, then he may well come out. Well, this is where the ton of money has come for recently, Dermot, because there's a somewhat of a pretty boy vote as such. And if that would split the vote with Ray and Scott, it could leave a golden highway for our friend Cameron. If <laughs> golden you highway, straight great. Through there. OK, let's quickly go through the rest of them Sure, there. no worries. Now, Ray is in now at 7 to 2, was the favourite when books opened at 9 to 2, but still a very good value for money. Mm. Uh, Nush is in at, at 12. And That's Steph, long, isn't it? That is, that is long, that is long. OK. Um, definitely some value there. Steph, the bookmakers are completely convinced she'd be doing a walk on Friday. So 25 to 1 or better. OK, brilliant. Thank you very much, Colonel. I appreciate it. Going to take your calls and emails in a minute. But first up, uh, time to catch up with the, today's news. The house place nominated for the seventh and final time today. Find out on tomorrow's show who's up for eviction on Friday. Steph got herself in a bit of a tears last night after Scott chose Nush as his reward room buddy. The problem is, Steph feels she always comes a poor second to Nush. And John was given a ticking off by the female big brother today for talking to Ray about the football transfer window. John's response, as a female, she probably doesn't know anything about the beautiful game. And finally, Cameron shaved off his goatee this morning, which means sadly, Beardwatch is over.
Who do you want in the final four is today's cool BBLB. Still joined by Polly and Lisa. Let's go straight to the phones. Uh, Talia from Preston. Hello, Talia. Hello, Dermy, you housewife favourite. How are you? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be round later. <laughs> Me fish fingers. Uh, go for it. It's a no-brainer. We have to have Steph in the final four, mainly because she's Lisa's least favourite. OK. Now, um, you want Cameron to go? Yes, I want means... Cameron to go because he's got the social skills of a newt. We need somebody who's much more entertaining than him. Don't... We want Steph. She's made cleaning the new black. We want her in the final four. She's made cleaning the new black. Fantastic. And um, and what, what, don't you think Cameron's brought a bit of entertainment to the house? He was. He was great when he was in South Africa, but he's just come back and he's gone back to being his flaccid self. He's all, I don't like him anymore. I liked him when he was in South Africa. I say, Steph, Steph, Steph. OK, Talia, thank you very much. She really loves Steph, doesn't she? <laughs> OK, and next up, Marion from Kent. Hello, Marion. Hi, Dermot. You are right. Loving your work. Back at ya. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, right, I want to see Scott, Cameron, Ray and Steph in right. the final four. Mm -hmm. Uh, think Nish's time is up. Why Nish? Well, she's had problems in the last few days, Dermot. She needs to go home for a big cuddle and a long chat with her mum. Mm -hmm. And I think the other four are a lot stronger than she is. And they'll be good at the end. It'll be good to see a battle. Lisa, what do you think of that? Um, I, uh, I don't know. I, I, originally, I think I originally said Nush, Rain, Scott. And I was like this about the fourth one who was in the house. I think John. John will have to be in the final four, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I, it's changing as I'm watching it. Now. Sure. I mean, John's an extra, so, you know, we've, we've got another yeah, four exactly. to pick from that. Yeah. What, do, what about you? Well, I think Steph will be out this weekend, won't really? she? And then um, probably Cameron as well, even though I want him to stay in. Sure. OK. One last call. Uh, Steve from Lincolnshire. Hello, Steve. Good evening. Go for it. Oh, very well then. Now then, what we've got? We've got Cameron to stay. Yeah. We've got Scott and Nust and Ray. Now, I think that um, Cameron can handle it on his own, don't you think? He just sit back and we watch the other three implode. So you think Cameron can just go there on his own? Well, he can just sort of hide around and do a bit of gardening, look after the grass and stuff, and maybe read his Bible, while the rest of them, the three of them, trying to work out who's going to win, and just they're just going to go crazy amongst each other. It's like Brilliant. the cliche, isn't it? The click. Is that fair enough, Lisa? Absolutely. Thank you very much, Steve. OK, so we've got time for today. Thanks a lot to our guests. And joining us tomorrow, Bradley from S Club 7 and Federico's going to expose from John's game plan. See you then.